so, welcome. Hello, hello. Um, so, for those who are unfamiliar with you and your work, uh, who are you? I am TJ Hughes. I'm a game developer from St. Louis, Missouri, all the way up in the Midwest. Uh, and uh, I run a company called Terrifying Jellyfish, and I'm making a weird food art game called Noor. Awesome. And so, is it just you working on Noor, or do you have a team, or...? Um, the whole, the project as a whole is just me, but uh, I am working with a sound designer friend of mine and a music producer also from St. Louis uh, and a few other people to just make this game uh, come together into the most delicious looking thing possible. Nice, yeah, and it's definitely looking delicious so far. So, how would you, if people are like a food art game, what? How would you explain it to them? <laughs> yes, uh, I generally describe Noor as um, a simulator of if you were a kid again, just playing with your food, playing with your dinner, uh, and except you don't have to clean up the mess, your mom won't yell at you about it, and uh, you can just, you're just free to play around. There's no goals or objectives, there's no right or wrong way to play. Uh, you're just free to mess around and create a little <laughs> ball of food horror. <laughs> Nice. Food horror is new, new genre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. And so, um, one of the things that kind of caught my eye about the game was the input that you were using, right? So you yeah. have a version of the game that works with a joystick or like MIDI fighter uh, controller. Yeah, yeah. The game's controlled with this weird uh, controller. It's a MIDI fighter. It's a 4x4 four four, uh, array of arcade buttons. And so it's just this really tactile experience where you're just mashing these buttons and getting this immediate feedback of food falling down on screen and um, going through intense like physics simulations of just like different foods colliding with each other. Uh, and so yeah, that it's a different way to kind of than like a standard like controller or anything like that so it's a different way to play but it really works for what this is that's awesome and and what was the inspiration for that uh like where did you hit on the idea to use that particular controller for the game um i've been seeing uh indies recently uh kind of using a lot more midi controllers for debugging their games so like they'll use a slider to tweak a parameter and test something like write down the results or something but i i thought like wouldn't it be neat to sort of challenge how games are controlled nowadays and um do it completely differently from anything else and so um after discovering this controller like it just fit the game so well like the colorful buttons and all that it was just so perfect that uh it, it just felt like the the right way to control a game like it's an unusual game why not let the control scheme be unusual as well that's awesome and uh so do you have any plan to like so obviously people can buy midi fighters right so right. if somebody wants to have like the the full deluxe newer experience at home <laughs> like is that something that you've thought about or are you just thinking like this is just kind of my vision and yeah um so the MIDI controllers, like MIDI Fighter 3Ds are like $200, so obviously not everyone's gonna have it lying around, but uh, I, so I kind of made the game where you can control it with any MIDI controller. So if you have a launch pad sitting around, if you have an like MPK Mini sitting around, you can plug that in and just see how it interacts with the game. And um, you just see like if it, uh, if it just controls differently, you, you can just experiment really. Um, so th that's kind of how I use like just this weird control scheme, and I'm I'm just making it to where anyone can like kind of tinker with it. That's awesome. And so like as a a music nerd myself, like the are you using uh, is it note data that triggers events in the games? If that's yeah. the main yeah MIDI data. So uh, it's using a plugin created by uh, Kajiro Takahashi. He makes awesome Unity plugins. Check out his GitHub. Um, but yeah, his plugins just really help expand Unity, and um, I'm using that to sort of get the MIDI data and just translate that right into controller input. And it's like really easy too because I can develop for that while simultaneously developing for uh, just traditional like keyboard and mouse. Nice, that's awesome. Uh, what's the name of the Kdrose thing? Uh, it's a plugin called MIDI Jack. 
So it's a, a DLL plugin that you just like put into your Unity project. Uh, there's plenty of documentation, and um, it's it just works right out the box.